Venice is unlike any other city in Europe or the world, as it is built on 118 islands off the coast of northeastern Italy. The city of Canals, which has remained virtually constant in appearance for over 600 years, resembles something out of a picture book rather than a modern metropolis. It's a place where the entire city is seen as a tourist attraction. Millions of travelers go to Venice each year to take in the sights and sounds of this beautiful city. Venice, on the other hand, is a tourism destination that manages to meet all expectations, even during peak tourist season. We have made this video of top attractions and things to do in Venice to help you plan your trip so you don't miss any of the best locations to see. Number 1. St. Mark's Basilica The soaring 30-story campanile and the enormous church behind it, both located in St. Mark's Square, are two of Venice's most popular tourist attractions. Both are from the 9th century, but have been significantly renovated and adorned over the centuries. The wealth that Venice accumulated as a military power is displayed at San Marco Basilica. Its design is unique in that it combines Byzantine and Gothic architectural styles. Much of the cathedral's walls and vaulting are covered in elaborate medieval mosaics. The altarpiece Polidoro, a jewel adorned gold screen, that is considered one of the best works of Byzantine artistry in the world, is located behind the tomb believed to contain the remains of Saint Mark. 2. Grand Canal A gondola ride along the Grand Canal is the best way to start your exploration of Venice. Gondolas, water taxis, and public papereti are the major modes of transit in a city where automobiles are prohibited. From St. Mark's Basilica to the Church of Santa Chiara, the city's water thoroughfare snakes through the heart of the city. The Grand Canal is traversed by four bridges, the most renowned of which is the 16th century Rialto Bridge, which is lined on both sides by Romanesque, Gothic, and Renaissance architecture. The finest time to take a gondola ride is early in the morning, when the canal is bathed in golden light. 3. Doge's Palace During the Venetian Republic's prosperous ages, the city's magistrates, or doges, control the city like royalty. The Palazzo Ducale was not only the Doge's Palace, but also the city's political and administrative center. The structure was built in two stages. Between 1301 and 1340, the eastern wing, which faces the Rio di Palazzo, was constructed. The western wing, which faces the Pieta San Marco, took another 110 years to complete and was finished in 1450. Secret itineraries to participants can also stroll down subterranean quarters to see exclusive council rooms, torture chambers, and the prison cell from which Giacomo Casanova escaped in 1756. 4. Rialto Bridge One of the four bridges that span the Grand Canal is the Rialto Bridge. It was the only route to cross the Grand Canal on foot for approximately 300 years. The single-span stone bridge, designed by Antonio da Ponte, was built in 1591 to replace a timber bridge that had collapsed in 1524. The bridge's engineering was regarded so daring that several architects predicted it would collapse in the future. The bridge has withstood detractors and has become one of Venice's architectural landmarks. 5. The Piazza San Marco Venice's lone public square has been the city's major gathering place for centuries. It's the natural centerpiece for any visit to the city of Canals. Surrounded by open-air cafes and prominent sites like San Marco Basilica and the Palazzo Ducale, the square is actually shaped like a trapezoid, widening as it gets closer to the church. St. Mark's Square, despite the throngs in the summer and the storms in the winter, provides a spectacular Venetian experience in all seasons. 6. Campanile Campanile is the city's highest skyscraper and one of the city's most identifiable sites. It is located on the famed Piazza San Marco. The bell tower, which rises to a height of 99 meters, was completed in 912, but the current structure was erected in 1912 after it collapsed. While the bell tower's main body is somewhat basic, the higher realms of Campanile feature some exquisite architecture in the shape of beautiful arches and stones. 
visitors can take an elevator straight to the top of the Campanile, where they can enjoy a panoramic view of Venice and the lagoon. 7. The Bridge of Sights, which spans the Rio di Palazzo and connects the interrogation rooms of the Doge's Palace to the new prison. It was built in 1600. It was designed by Antonio Cantino, whose uncle Antonio da Ponte designed the Rialto Bridge. According to one story, the bridge's name stems from the idea that captives would sigh as they gazed out the window at lovely Venice on their journey to the executioner. In actuality, by the time the bridge was erected, the days of summary executions had passed, and the cells beneath the palace roof were largely occupied by minor criminals. 8. San Giorgio Maggiore San Giorgio Maggiore is a small island across the lagoon from St. Mark's Square, best known for its 16th-century church of the same name. The church, which was designed by the famous Renaissance architect Andrea Palladio, has a brilliant white marble facet and an open and airy interior that is refreshingly devoid of over-ornamentation. The Last Supper and the Fall of Manna, two of Tintoretto's famous paintings, adorn the main altar. Visitors can take an elevator to the top of the neoclassic bell tower of the church for a breathtaking view of Venice. 9. Santa Maria della Salute This 17th-century basilica, known as La Salute, is located where the Grand Canal meets the Venetian Lagoon. The huge dome of the white stone edifice was built as a shrine to the Virgin Mary for sparing the city from a disease that killed one-third of the population. There's an extensive collection of Titian's works on exhibit, including ceiling paintings of scenes from the Old Testament, in addition to the altar sculpture depicting the Madonna of Health driving the demon plague from Venice. 10. Tor del Rologio. The Tor del Rologio is a magnificent Renaissance edifice on one side of Piazza San Marco. It is a significant historical and architectural site in the city, with a charming astrological clock on its exterior. St. Mark's clock tower has two bronze figures on its roof that strike the air on a bell, as well as a plethora of other stunning designs and figures adorning its facade. A statue of St. Mark's lion, as well as the Virgin and Child, and the clock face itself, are all there. When you're in Piazza San Marco, pay a visit to the Tor del Rologio on the ear, or even go inside to see how the mechanism works.